Now we are going to the next session. So this is a class session. As I said in the earlier session, we discussed about the particle in the field. Okay, in the spherical potential. Okay, we took at the model as a spherical potential. We have separated. And here we are going to consider two particles. They will be interacting. Two interacting particles in three-dimensional space. For example, you just take in astronomy. We are looking at the star which are too far away. Correct. Right? For our eyes, it will seem to be only a single star. But suppose if we use binocular, binocular sir, or very powerful telescopes. Okay, not binoculars, powerful telescopes. Then it will uh, really appear as two stars, binary stars. They say that more than 80% of stars will be binary stars. But for us, it looks like only a single star. More than 80% of stars will be binary stars. So simple, so something like that. We have two interacting, two interacting uh, particles, two interacting particles in three-dimensional space. Two interacting particles, how they will uh, have the motion? Suppose if you have two interacting particles, we are going to solve the solution using uh, Schrodinger equation for these two interacting particles. So we can say that we can consider that two interacting particles as one particle equation. So one representing the translation motion, this is your translation motion about the center of mass. This is your center of mass. This is your center of mass. So translation motion. Another one is the relative motion between two particles. I repeat. See, we have two interacting particles. Okay, in in 3D, in 3D space, 3D uh, three-dimensional space. We are going to solve Schrodinger equation of these two particles. These two particles. We are going to make it into one equation, one equation which represents both the quantities. One is connected with R, another one is connected with small r. Is it okay? The capital R stands for the translation motion of the center of mass. Actually, capital R is the radial distance R, capital R. So one motion which represents the translation motion of the center of mass. Another motion will be the relative motion of two particles, which is connected with small r. So, what I am going to say is, we, have go we are going to have one particle equation, which will be the, multi which will be the multiplication of a product of capital R and small r. And we are going to use separation of variable technique, we are going to use separate capital R and small r. Is it okay? In the earlier session, we calculated r theta phi, separately we have calculated. Psi is a function of r theta phi, correct? So, we have separated. Similarly, here, the solution will be psi will be which depend on both the factors capital R and small r. Okay, we are going to separate. Now the position vectors and masses of two particles are shown in the figure. So figure is very clear. You have two interacting um, masses, interacting particles. The radial distance of the first one will be your r1, radial distance second one will be your r2. And above the center of mass, your capital R will be the radial distance. And r is a distance between m1 and m2. So the radius vector of the center of mass is given by, this is the expression r equals m1 r1 plus m2 r2 divided by m1 plus m2. Okay? So this is the radius vector of the center of mass. Center of mass, radius. Okay? Radius vector. And the relative position vector is given by r equals r1 minus r2. r1 minus r2. Okay? Small r equals r1 minus r2. And R equals, we know already that expression and you are going to use these two expressions. Okay, these two expressions. Now, we know that uh, R equals R1 minus R2. So, R2 will be R1 minus R, correct? Your R2 will be R1 minus R. You substitute here in that expression. R equals M1 R1 plus M2. Instead of R2, you substitute R1 minus R divided by M1 plus M2. Okay. R1 is common, you just pull it out. So that will give you R1 M1 plus M2 divided by M1 plus M2 minus M2 R. You just separate the equation. So you just separate this equation. And similar term will get cancelled, you have R1. And the next term will be minus M2 R divided by M1, M1 plus M2. So, so that expression R1, this is your R, correct? 
so r1 equals r you bring this term to this side that will give you r plus m2 r divided by m1 plus r2 which is equal to r1 so which i have written here i repeat m1 m plus m2 will get cancelled so you have r1 you bring this term to that side so that will give you r plus m2 r divided by m1 plus m2 which is equal to r1 similarly you can also try for r2 how you are going to try for r2 we have written r2 equal to r1 minus r we just write r1 equals r1 equals r plus r2 r2 plus r okay you substitute here for r1 you will get the same expression for r2 so we have obtain the expression for r1 and r2 okay the momentum of two particles can be written as how to write we just multiply this one by by m1 on both sides so you will get m1 r1 which is equal to m1 r plus m1 m2 r divided by m1 plus m multiply on both sides by m1 so m1 r1 so i can we can write this as m1 r1 m1 capital r plus m1 by m2 m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 is nothing but mu 1 by mu equals 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 so reduced mass expression for reduced mass 1 by mu equals 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 so this can be replaced by mu is it okay now you just differentiate with respect to r on either sides both sides so you have r1 dot dr by dr1 by dr okay so we will get r1 dot here also r1 dot here also r dot so m1 r1 dot will give you momentum correct p equals mv v can be written as r dot so p1 equals m1 r1 which is equal to m1 r dot plus mu r dot similarly you can go for p2 p2 expression will be m2 r dot minus mu r dot is it okay so we are going to assume the potential to be dependent only on the distance between the two particles the hamiltonian system is given by so simplifying this the hamiltonian system is given by for two particle system this is for the kinetic energy of the first particle and the second particle and the potential together we can write this so we know already hamiltonian equation so now we will substitute for p1 p1 already we calculate for p1 here correct and p2 here so p1 i have written here you substitute here you substitute for p1 that will give you this substitute for p2 that will give you this okay divided by 2m1 divided by 2m2 plus v of r is it okay now i am going to square this one a plus b whole square formula you just uh, listen to me a plus b whole square formula is a square plus b square plus 2ab correct so squaring this term you are going to square this term and after that 2ab d will be m1 when you square this term that will give you 2 m1 r dot mu r divided by m1 will be m1 will get cancelled. Now you just square this one will give you 2 m2 r mu r dot correct divided by m2 that m2 will cancel so both the terms will get cancelled. That is here we have 2 ab here we have minus 2 ab both the terms will get cancelled only square term alone will exist. Is it okay? I repeat you just square this term. So this will give you 2ab. That is 2m1 r dot plus mu r dot divided by m1. That m1 and that m1 will cancel. So you love this term. The similar term will also you will get the same. similar term with a minus sign. So you can get uh, cancel. Now only squaring term alone exists. So when you are going to square this one, will give you m1 square r dot square. Here m2 square r, r dot square divided by m1. m1 is here. So one m1 and another m1 will get cancelled. So you will get m1 r dot squared here, m2 r dot squared. You pull it out. M1 plus m2 r dot squared. Is it okay? Similarly, you can do for the next one. Next one will be mu r mu squared r dot squared. Correct. Right? So here you have mu squared r dot squared divided by m1 here divided by m2. So you pull it out. That will give you one by two. 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 mu square r dot square. The same thing for potential energy we have done same. Thing. Now multiply and divide by m1 plus m2 here here alone. 
we have to multiply and divide by m1 plus m2. So multiplying that will give you square divided by this one. And m1 plus m2 is nothing but we are going to take it as capital M. Okay, first term. The, of course, this this we know already. 1 by mu equals 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2. So we can simplify easily using 1 by mu term, reduced mass. This is easy. But here it is a bit difficult. What we are going to do is multiply and divide by m1 plus m2. Okay, then we have m1 plus m2 whole square. m1 plus m2 is nothing but m capital M. Capital M. We are going to keep it as capital M. But here m1 plus m2 is nothing but capital M square. So m squared r dot squared. Okay, m squared r dot squared. m squared r dot squared is nothing but p r squared. So your m r dot will be your p r. So we are going to keep this as p r squared. This will be 1 by 2 m. So the next term will be 1 by 2 mu. Your p r squared plus b r. Is it okay? Any doubt? So this is your r. R stands for r stands for translation motion. Okay, translation motion. It's a radial vector about the center of mass. What are these r? Small r. It's a relative motion of the two particles. Okay, relative motion of two particles. So we have divided. We are going to divide now. So we will have to understand. Now just to replace the dynamical variables. This one we are going to use. As usual, we are going to use uh, dynamical variables, operators. Okay, we are going to use the same operators. So, so considering this, the coordinate axis, we are going to replace the operator, and we will get exactly like this. Is it okay? So P will be minus I H cross del. Correct. So use this one. And we will get in terms of operators, Hamiltonian in terms of operators. The complete uh, complete equation, so is given by this expression, where psi depends on capital R and small r. So this is what I said earlier. So psi depends on capital R and small r. So now we are going to separate capital R separately and r separately. Is it okay? So here we have two coordinates. In the earlier section we had three coordinates. Three coordinates. We have separated r theta pi. Here we are going to separate capital R and small r. Okay. As I said, capital R stands for the position vector about the center of mass from the origin. Small r is a relative motion, relative distance between two particles. So this is about the relative motion. This is about the translation motion. R stands for the translation about the translation motion. So this is your relative motion of two particles. Translation motion of center of mass. So now this psi of r comma r can be written as psi of r and psi of r. We are going to separate. Okay. So this can be written as psi of r and psi of r. So this depends only on r, capital R. This depends only on small r. You substitute here. This equation becomes exactly like this. This equation. You have to substitute. So substituting that will give you this equation will give you your psi of psi of r psi of r here okay now we are going to divide this one by psi of r psi of r as usual we have done the last session so this is a technique universally it is it is the same for every variable we are going to separate exactly like this so one divided by psi of r psi of r and here you have psi of r psi of r correct it depends only on r so psi of r is constant you pull it out This psi of r psi of r will get cancelled. You will have only minus. Okay, you have minus h plus k divided by two m. Okay, you have minus is here. Minus is missing here. Okay, you have minus. So minus h plus k divided by two m one by psi of r. Correct. That psi of r this psi of r will cancel. It's a constant. Same technique. So you have del square uh, r which depends on r psi of r. So next term. So here it depends only on small r. Psi of r is constant. You pull it out. This psi of r and psi of r will get cancelled. You have only only psi of r. So minus h plus k divided by two mu one by psi of r. And of course this one will cancel. You have et minus v. Et stands for total energy. Is it okay? This equation. Now look at this equation. We have separated. So this term depends only on capital R. This term is only on small r. So this can be equated to some constant. Okay. So some constant in the sense 
this is a energy equation correct this energy so we will have to equate only with the energy constant as a energy so we are going to equate this as energy and of course we said r is related to the translation motion about the center of mass so that's why it is as translational energy okay is it clear and this is for translation motion and the right hand side equation is equated to again et correct all the one e total exists so et e total minus e small t is it okay and look at this equation this is without potential there is no v here here v is here so there is no v here it means that this is a pre particle equation this is very easy to solve this also can be uh, solved easily no problem at all so equation 2.243 is the same as that of a pre particle equation of mass capital m okay it describes the translation motion of the system in space now equation 2.244 is the same as the schrodinger equation with the potential with the potential vfr correct which represents the relative motion of two particles so the energy for a, uh, the relative motion et minus t which is equal to we can consider et e total t minus et equals e suppose we consider et equals zero that is in which the center of mass is at rest then we can say that et minus et equal to e so that equation is simplified as this equation it depends only on r this also can be easily solved so these types which we have discussed so far one is a radial equation that is a polar spherical polar coordinates another one is a radial equation which we have separated radial part angular part we have separated correct and in the second one two particle system we have separated into translation motion and relative motion so these techniques can be obtained this can be can be applied to get uh, the solutions for hydrogen atom and rigid rotator so this we are going to see in the next class okay so thank you students